Hey guys, my jam, Sunday 28th at 10, 20, <laughs> 06. So, once again, I just did a short, but I just wanted to do a longer video before I go to bed because I haven't been doing too many videos today because, as you guys know, I have been in the wash <laughs> pretty much my whole day. So, I did make one soup and I did do a few dishes at least, but other than that, not really, so most likely if it does not improve by tomorrow, I, when I wake up, then I will go to my doctor's, which is a clinic, but, and then you know what they say, but, uh, I really don't want to go out, but I can't take this anymore, <laughs> I, I'm almost to the point where I want to sleep in the washroom, <laughs> so, yeah, that's not good, um, like I said, it's been five days, and I don't really tell you guys about it at first because it was kind of personal, and it wasn't like, this bad, but now it's like pretty much all the time, and like I said, I've talked to a few groups, and they all say it's depression, so I don't know, but <clears throat> now I might have to get my, my, my business tested <laughs> to see if there's anything wrong, so that's why I'm going to go to the clinic tomorrow you know what you let you guys know what they say but um it's just been brutal today like i did no projects that i wanted to do and i wanted to hang up my stuffed animals and stuff and to spend the day at the clinic it kind of sucks because then when i come home i'm not going to be doing much <laughs> so but thankfully, most times at my clinic, uh, they're usually not uh, busy in the afternoon. And then if they're busy, then it just means that I can't go. But <clears throat> I might call them in the morning when I wake up and see if I can get an appointment. So then that way I don't go all that way down there when I need the wash. <laughs> so it all depends on them too. So as soon as I wake up, I'm going to give them a call to see if I could get an appointment. And if not, then I'll just wait it out, see what they say. Uh, might even be able to talk to my doctor on the phone because he's on that day. But I'm pretty sure, like, other than giving me medication, what could they really do other than a test? <laughs> you know what I mean by that, hopefully. Um, so... But people are like, oh, you should call your doctor. I'm like, well, if I call my doctor, what is it he can't really do anything over the phone. <laughs> Other than tell me, stay in the washroom. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. That's why I go, it all depends if they're booked or not. But it's not that bad. I'm not going to go to the hospital for it. Like I said, it's not that bad. It's not like that there's any blood, no change in color, no nothing like that. So... Like I said, it could just be because I'm very depressed, and that's why I'm going to bed early tonight. But I just wanted to let you guys know that since, for like, some people, I know some people keep coming to my channel, and a lot of people keep going, leaving my channel, they keep coming to my channel, and they leave, like, subscribers and people, so... That's why I always try to give a heads up, too, like, saying, now I'm talking more about my cat family, even though I always have, but... I kind of at least wanted to make a video about it, just to say, if you guys don't like this stuff, you guys don't have to watch. You can watch my other videos, because still, I'm still going to do cleaning, and I'm still going to do my vegan cooking, and stuff like looking after myself, because that's pretty much what I do all day, and that's why I'm like, do I really want to go to the clinic and spend all day there when I got so much crap to do, but then if I'm in the washroom all day... <laughs> <laughs> Either way, can't really do what I want to do, so that's why uh, it all depends if I could see uh, if somebody at the clinic or not, but I'm not going to go all that way if I can't, and I'm not going to go all the, all the way down there just to find out that they're full. Because it is like 45 minutes away, and I already have smokes, and I already have tofu, so it's like I don't really need anything. But I do have to pick something up tomorrow, a uh, wall shelf that's free, obviously. So that's why I was going to go to No Frills after that. But if I do get to go to the clinic, then I'll go to the clinic first, and I'll do that on the way home, and then go to things. But, 
yeah, it's just frustrating. Especially that's why when I was recording, what day was it? I don't even know what day that was. <laughs> when I was out, when I went downtown, was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. Or was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Let's see on my YouTube channel. See, this is why I record videos. So I could go back and see, like, when did I go out last time? <laughs> when did I vacuum last time? I'm pretty sure it's been, like, at least a couple months since I vacuumed. Um, so, yeah. I... <laughs> Again, that's why I go... That's why I haven't been doing too many videos today. Because I've been constantly on the washroom. And I don't want to go and being in the washroom. Because that's kind of gross. <laughs> Even I think it's weird when some, some vloggers do that. I don't know why, but yeah, it's weird. <laughs> some people do that, and then I'm just like, yeah. Like, some people even record themselves peeing outside, guys. And I'm like, that's just gross. <laughs> so yeah, I would never do anything like that. But telling you guys about it, because like I said, I'm a daily vlogger, but... Right now, because I'm so, I've been so depressed, and, uh, people keep telling me, well, you gotta talk about it, you gotta talk about it, but then people, some people, I remember, uh, I got a comment on YouTube not too long ago, when people were like, why don't you try not talking about death for, like, a week or two, and I'm like, last time I did that, that's how I got into drugs, <laughs> so, no, you gotta talk about it. Because if you don't talk about it and you don't say what's going on, then everything builds up inside you. And you're never fully going to get over it. Because I, even people in this support group that I'm in, they even said they still, and it's their cats that passed away 40 years ago, 50 years ago. So you never really get over it. And talking about it and honoring them is not a bad thing. But I just thought that was funny when she was like, Oh, you, or people say that too. They're like, why do you keep talking about your cats? I'm like, well, because when I don't, that's when I go nuts. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Um, and then, like I said, I know there's a lot of people out there who are going through the same thing that I am. That's why I'm in the support group. And that's why I do in Living Memory Project. Because I'm like, I know people could uh, take my ideas and make their own projects and Maybe not go all out like I did. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, and then somebody was, the person that I got the stuff from the buy nothing group, they're like, why don't you ask in the group for a pillow for, the, for this thing? I'm like, no, I'm just going to buy it from the dollar store next time I'm there if I see one th that size. Because whenever I get free pillows or free sheets or free something, there's usually bugs that come with it. And I think that's how I got bed bugs last time was because I got free pillowcases and I got free pillows and I washed them, but that still doesn't matter. So you got to be very careful about that stuff. And a lot of stuff that I get for free, if it's outside, like, uh, people are like, oh, come to my backyard. It's been there for like weeks and come pick up this stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> One time I actually grabbed a radio. A clock radio and there was little spiders inside of the radio which I didn't see until I got home so I brought the spiders home I was like oh so disgusted so yeah just be be my be careful and mindful about that stuff but I'm usually like I said I'm pretty sure I could find one from the dollar store because that's where I got my other pillow from so but I really do love this <clears throat> I can never make this myself. The only problem is that when I was doing the video earlier, I had it this way. So you can't really see speckles. So it's cut off. It's actually this way. So you can kind of see speckles, but speckles is kind of at the end. So you can't really see them. So that's Josephine. So I didn't tell you guys that in the photo either. So that's Josephine. That's Hope. And that's Speckles. If you guys didn't know, hopefully you guys know <laughs> which cat is what. <laughs> Josephine's the fluffy one. Hope was the fat one. Speckles was the boy. <laughs> That's why I go when I had five cats, I was able to hide them because um, they all looked the same, pretty much. So I was looking at my videos here to tell you when I went out last. 
<laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> so yesterday when I was in downtown, I had needed a washroom. There's no washroom anywhere, so I had to walk all the way to the C box, which is far, just to use a washroom. So that's why I'm like, I don't really want to go out because I need a washroom close by. <laughs> but at least if I go during the day, the community, if I really need a washroom, I could go to the community center on the way, either at the Carnegie or on the way to the clinic. Which means I have to get on and off the bus and then wait, so that's something that sucks. But, I don't know, I might see if I could talk to my doctor first, because I think, yeah, because tomorrow's a Wednesday, so he might be there. So I'll be like, or tell them what's going on and tell them. I kind of need to go to the clinic, but I kind of can't because I need the washroom. <laughs> so I don't know if I should come down or if there's something else I should do for it and see what they say. But if they tell me to go in, then I'll go in. And I know I could always get a ride from somebody, but still that that, that doesn't really help because I still need a washroom. And I'm still going to have to stop everywhere and then I'm going to have to wait on other people to go. So go out of the house, so I prefer going on my own, but yeah, I really do love this pillow. I'm not going to sleep with it though, like, I'm going to have it, uh, I'm wondering if I should leave it on the couch or if I should have it by the bed. What do you guys think? What do you guys suggest? Have this pillow, because I'm not going to sleep on it, obviously, because <laughs> it's not comfortable and it's too small. And I already sleep with four, oh, three pillows, and a pretty cougar stuffed animal, a hope stuffed animal, and a speckle stuffed <laughs> Oh, and that ad keeps coming up, too, about the custom-made stuffed animals, so I finally left them a comment saying, I don't know how people don't go crazy with that. <laughs> and to get, for the amount that they want, like six hundred six hundred to seven hundred dollars for a stuffed animal, you could buy you could buy or adopt a pet. Two probably two pets with that amount. <laughs> As I'm like yeah, so I told them that I'm like that's that's even though I know they look real, but still it's that's way too much money for a stuffed animal. <clears throat> in my opinion. Like this was twenty thirty oh I just had the receipt. It was under forty bucks for extra shipping, so that's pretty good, but to get anything over 40 bucks, I'd make it myself, so, yeah, but this stuff I can't make myself, I know there's machines that you could get and do it yourself, but I'm not that kind of person, <laughs> and then to keep, what's like, what do you call it, that carpet machine, it's for crafts, um, just to, I looked into it, and just to, you, it costs a lot of money to, like, alone, it costs, like, just to get it used, it's like $200, $100, this is the cheapest that I've seen, and then you have to buy all the parts, and the accessories, and then you have to keep, keep it clean, and all these stuff for it, it's like, yeah, no, I'd rather just pay 40 bucks and get somebody else to do it for me, but, it's kind of a shame that you can't really see speckles. Maybe if I move the feeling over a bit, that will help. So yeah, I hope people don't mind that I'm going to talk about my cats a lot more than I usually do. Because, like I said, that's what helps the most. And even my counselor said that too. They go, and people say that. They go, you got to talk about it. I'm like, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's how it was before. But sadly, if you don't talk about it, you're not going to get any better. And that's why I keep saying it's also about overcoming depression. Because I am depressed. I've been depressed almost a year now. And I'm still depressed, but I know I'm going to overcome it. It's just going to take a while to overcome it. Because I've been through a lot, like. Losing three cats in two years, one after the other, and going there and watching them being put down is the hardest thing. But it's harder having a cat die in your arms, because I've been there too. <laughs> so it's like, I miss all of them now, not just, not just Hope, Josephine, and Speckles.
So yeah. I'm also saying that too in the short video. So then I'm hoping people who are going through what I'm going through and they're depressed and they're trying to get over the death of their pets and stuff like that, they'll come over to my channel so they could get support. Uh, since I'm not sleeping with this, I think I'm going to leave it here. My pillow. Because like I said, I'm not sleeping with it. It's too small. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's more for decorative, I think, for the size. So I'm just going to leave it here. Um, maybe when I get a pillow for it, then I will. But then again, I'm like, I roll around in my bed. Like you guys know, I already sleep with three stuffed animals. And then another pillow that just has a photo with them. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think I'm good. What's my blankets like? Actually, my blankets aren't too bad, so I'm just warm. Put away my soup, uh, and then I'm gonna make my sandwich, and pretty much go to bed, eat, and go to bed, and then hopefully get up early so I could call the clinic and see if I could go in the afternoon. Cause there's no way I'm gonna get there at 9 a.m. <laughs> no way. So. But, yeah, we'll see. Or hopefully, by the time I wake up, I'll feel better. We'll see. I did take, um, a gas pill. So, that might help. Because I know I do have those issues, too. So, I'm hoping that will help. With, with my stomach. I would take, uh, pepto -bismol, but I don't have any pepto -bismol, And I don't think that's... That helps your stomach. I don't think it helps you stop going to the washroom. <laughs> and I could stop drinking and eating stuff, but then I'd get very, uh, what's the word? Dehydrated if I do that. So that's not a good idea. So we'll see what the doctor says tomorrow. Either way, I'll give them a call and just talk to them and tell them I don't know if I should come in because I need. I'm literally on the toilet 24-7. <laughs> so. I really wish this was bigger. <laughs> Somebody actually bought uh, 10 of these. And they have them all around my house for different family members that passed away. They're different pets. They bought one for every single pet. I'm like, I can't afford that. <laughs> That's why I put them all on one photo, so then that way I could just get one. But now I kind of want to get another pillow with another photo. <laughs> I kind of kind of want to get a pillow that has my collages. So, what I might do for an upcoming project, now that I think about it. Just get a cheap pillowcase. Actually, I probably have a pillowcase. I'll just use a pillowcase and put photos on of my collages when I print them up next payday and then just do my own. <laughs> I mean, it won't be as nice, but it's still just as good. And then that way I could just have all my photos because I'm pretty sure if I got one custom made with all my collages, um... <clears throat> it probably cost a lot of money. And then, this thing, for this one, I tried putting a collage photo, but it wouldn't allow me to do that because it's only, it's not that big of, uh, to put the photo because of, of the wording. So I had to do one with just one photo with three cats. And I don't have too many photos <laughs> of three cats. <laughs> but I think it's more meant for, like, one photo. That's why mine looks different. So, because in the advertising, they have, like, the one cat, one dog, one one human person that, that went, but I had, I did the three. But I still think it looks good. I still love it. Anyways. It's just that I can't really hug it. <laughs> like, it says to hug this pillow. Because then you guys can't see the photo, you guys can't see the writing. So then it's just like... I'm just hugging a pillow. <laughs> no point. No point. Nothing different. Oh, I need to wash them again. 
<sighs> yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing Bible verse of the day, but like I said, I'm still going to be doing Bible verse of the day. I'm still going to be talking about my past and decluttering and cleaning and my vegan stuff and all that jazz that I do all the time, but... What did I say? But yeah, my main focus too right now is to like help other people too that are going through the same thing and be like, I may be depressed, but we will overcome it. It just might take time, but I'm going to take it one step at a time. And like I said, for me, my In Loving Memory projects helped me the most, but because I needed dishes, because <laughs> I needed food. I was in the kitchen today, and I couldn't record because I had to constantly go in the washroom, so... <sighs> Hopefully tomorrow will be a little better. But I do have to go out tomorrow. So that's why I'm like, well, I'll call the clinic when I wake up. But, yeah. <laughs> I also like that uh, bracelet that I keep talking about. That says, lost, something about being lost. <clears throat> I don't know, I keep constantly posting it. But it's a bracelet that you could buy, but then it's just a wording. You don't get photos, and you could buy a bracelet with photos, but it's only one photo. So that's why I'm like, that's why I've been making my own stuff, because I could say it's cheaper. Cheaper, and it keeps me busy. And now that I'm so into crafts and stuff like that, it's like, it kind of keeps me busy, but I can't believe my whole day has gone by, and I literally haven't taken any naps today, all that I've been doing is in the kitchen, in the washroom, smoking, kitchen, washroom, smoking, kitchen, <laughs> that's pretty much it, <laughs> that's pretty bad, yeah. And then I, uh, again, on Facebook, somebody's like, oh, I got screenshots of your YouTube, and I can make it more popular for you. And I'm like, oh my god, why why am I getting all these people? I don't get it. <laughs> it's because I'm at almost 700, so it's in the middle. And because people watch, but not too many people watch, I don't know. It's like, psh, you think I'm going to spend money on somebody else to make my YouTube grow when I don't even make money off it? I don't think so <laughs> and like I said that beats the purpose I don't want just anybody on my channel coming in and be like blah 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 get over it get over it get over it so now those types of people I don't want on my channel that's why I go that's why I don't want to become popular <clears throat> I mean, I wanted to get to at least a thousand subscribers, so then that way I could start making money from watching ads and having ads on my channel. But other than that, it's still not a lot of money. So, yeah. <sighs> I almost feel like falling asleep here. <laughs> this is my pillow, but I'm hungry, so. No. The other problem, too, is that I don't really like the color of white. <laughs> so, I did see another pillow that's the shape of a heart on Facebook. And, like I said, I might get that next after I get my blanket. I want to get the blanket. I think it's from the same company. Man, I can't believe it's already 10.30. So much for going to bed early. <laughs> well, it's still early for me. Uh... I just want to see, oops, not that one. And see what else they had under church blankets. Oh, yeah, it is here. Whoa! I don't know, it's pretty expensive. <laughs> well, I guess it's not that bad. So here you guys go if you guys want to see it. <clears throat> That's what I want to get next. <laughs> uh, 
So it says, don't cry for me, mom. I'm okay. I can run like a puppy. I can fly with my new wings. Drop yourself in this considerate a big hug for me. I love you for always. And it's a dog, but I need a cat one. So, cat blanket. So I'm just doing a search. And I think I want to stick to this one because I've already bought something from here. Huh. I guess maybe it's only in dog form. Sorry, I don't have you guys on the same way. I'm not buying it till next month, but I'm just kind of curious if they have it. There you go. So, they have mugs you could buy too. I was thinking about getting a mug. A twin, up to four cats name for breed can be changed. See, that's pretty cool. But that's a personalized dad thing. Uh, blanket. Oops. I can't spell that way. Blanket. Memorial for cats. No. Nah. I don't see it on here. So I guess maybe they don't have it for cats. So I'm going to have to find it. One of the ads that pop up on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's too bad it's only a dog. It's like, psh, that doesn't help me. <laughs> the day I met you. About a relationship. Yeah. <clears throat> no, thank you. <laughs> so, we'll go on my Facebook. So, let's see if we can find the ad or not. Here we go. Uh... Oops. See, that's why I just got my feed because then, see, there's a pillow that I got. I already got that one. Where's the blanket now? <laughs> Have a blessing jar. That's a good, that's actually a good idea. Here we go. See, this is the other pillow that I was talking about, but this one is only for, oh, maybe not, select the image. Oh, so maybe I could do it for my cats. Let's see. Just for a preview. Uh, See what it was that one. Let's see if this one will work. I don't think it will, but huh. barely. Although that's not too bad. Oh, I could uh space it out. So then that way, that's not too bad. But you can't really see the image, so that's the problem with the. Uh... Wow, uh, this one's pretty expensive though. So it's thirty seven ninety nine. Still under forty dollars, but I don't really like the writing the quote. <laughs> yeah, no, this one I don't think I gotta do this one. <clears throat> They're forty dollars. <clears throat> uh, now where did the blanket go? See, this is the bracelet that I was talking about. The problem with this one, it's only one photo. So that doesn't work because I can't include the photo with just my three cats. Because it's not big enough. There's one of these. Personalized Memorial Stone. Trying to find the blanket. There you go. Customize. There you go. There's a blanket. So this one is 
That's not too bad. $26. That's kind of nice. Uh, no longer beside me, but forever in my heart. My angels have paws. Oh, that's cute. I like that one, actually. Your paw prints will forever be in our hearts. See, I, I prefer this one. <laughs> I think I might get the Rainbow Bridge next. But this one's $26. For a big one. See, the biggest one is $54. <laughs> wow. So, the second biggest one is 47 and then 40 So, the $40 wouldn't be too bad. Let's see. Preview. Oh, God, I got to upload. Well, I'm just going to bookmark this page for now. And I'm pretty much going to get ready for bed <laughs> after this. So, I'm going to bookmark this. <clears throat> Next payday, I'll do it with you guys like when I can see images out just like I did with the custom pillow so you guys could see it ahead of time but I think the $40 one isn't too bad I might get the $50 one we'll see so like I said now because GFC is coming so that kind of helps I still have money so that's good uh bookmark Done. Yay, it's added. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed, so like, comment, share, subscribe, and that's probably it for tonight. You guys know what I'm gonna eat. I'm pretty much gonna go for a smoke, use the washroom again, and then I'll let you guys know tomorrow when I wake up, and then I'll call the clinic and let you guys know. So stay tuned for that here on Phantom Stories. Daily Vlogger.